So today I'd like to talk about the digital nature. Uh, this is uh, my artistic concept and also the research concept too. So and uh, also I'm doing the research of the Japanese university and also working as an independent media artist for creation, creating digital process and also the analog process and by combining together into the artworks. So this was uh, my, my current artwork which is working with a femme second laser which kind of the ultra short pulse laser to draw the graphics in the air directly so with uh, tiny plasmas so in for the like a five years process towards uh, uh, current uh, current years i'm working to how can we draw or how can we mix uh, 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 digital graffiti into the physical world uh, as a both process of the like a it exists as a physical material, or we, how we can draw the virtual graphics into the physical world. We, um, this was uh, three years ago or two years ago, uh, we exhibited in, in the SIGGRAPH, and also the, it was awarded in the Aras Electronica, and also it, it is a kind of the ultra short pulse and the ultra tiny energy uh, from the second laser plasma, which can, uh, which can uh, Display the tactile and also the uh, visual feedbacks, and also it can draw the three dimensional graphics in the air. So, actually, how can we go outside of the borders between the graffiti or imagination or digital process towards the physical world? So, I'm a media artist, so I'm working on the like artwork, also research. And uh, it, this was a picture I captured in the, my solo exhibition this year, and uh, I exhibited one is a uh, uh, we fabricate it with a uh, uh, structured color using the like a uh, uh, electrical waves and also the really tiny printing system that is a nanometer order. And also we exhibited the which is uh, like a natural process that is a mole for butterfly. And also uh, how can we uh, distinguish between two the two dimensions? One is a virtual towards digital process, and one is analog to the digital process because the uh, biological. Uh, species have a digital process to evolve or to uh, mix it, it, its DNA or genetic process to process this kind of the structured color. So, so this year I'm working for how can we connect this kind of the digital process and towards the Japanese ancient beauty of the ancient style like a wabi sabi or kind of things. So, I'm actually working for the Media art process, which is uh, we imported from the like a computational culture from the west side of the United States, and also uh, after the 18th century, uh, after the 80s, we uh, use it towards the uh, artwork process that was kind of the uh, we called it as a media art in Japan. However, the Japanese ancient style, which is mixed uh, nature and also the artifact like a garden or like a uh, architecture. So it, we inherited from this kind of the concept towards uh, like an exhibition. This was uh, uh, this is the same photography from the Jap uh, my solo exhibition. It was uh, uh, inherited from the, that is Japanese marmado and also nijiriguchi, which is kind of the entrance. However, the, in the after the uh, industrial process, we can capture the, this kind of uh, industrial process, which kind of the like, lenses or like uh, iron materials or this kind of process into the Japanese ancient concept, concept context. So now what we are, I'm looking for how can we meditate two steps, which is uh, after the industrial process we found in like uh, images or motion pictures or televisions or medias. So after the industrial revolution, we, uh, we are in the media, which kind of the uh, information transmission process between the uh, between the, like a television or newspapers, and after that we can handle it the, as a computational process because of the, we can use it as a, like a digital fabrication, or we can use it as a, like a IoT things, or we can use it as a, also artwork. So, how can we mix these kind of scenery between the images and also the physical materials? So. I'm looking for the, the process, how can we meditate this kind of image and also the matters. So uh, we, I'd like to define the wabi-sabi, that is a Japanese ancient beauty uh, concept, or 
into other uh, recent uh, uh, to other recent uh, concept. So I call it the the beauty found in the stabilization process between the unstableness between complexity and simplicity through the iteration towards the nature. It means uh, uh, in ancient Japan, like uh, we put the artifact into the garden or put the like uh, materials into the like uh, uh, bakers. And after that, we found the, like, a, like a beautiful China or these kind of things. So it is a kind of the process, uh, the stabilization process of the beauty. It's the uh, unstableness between the, like, uh, uh, nature uh, because of the uh, stones uh, covered with the moss or the garden we put the stones and also the, uh, a lot of the like, uh, species came throughout. And finally, it came to complete the beauty. So it is the uh, same thing between the like, uh, analog step, like uh, ancient garden, and also the, it is the uh, same step in the like, uh, digital step, which is uh, like uh, deep learning or generative, adv uh, generative adversarial networks, or these kind of things is almost the stabilization process between the complexity and simplicity. So if we define this kind of the Japanese ancient terms, like after the digital process, we can connect the between uh, ancient process towards the recent process. So uh, this is, was uh, my current artwork, with, uh, which exhibited the dolphin's voice between other uh, wavefront ripples between the, uh, because of the dolphin, uh, dolphin speaks with, uh, in ultrasonic order, so it can show the ripples on the wave front, we can see the, their voices. So today I'd like to uh, raise the example, uh, Dolphin as an example to, uh, to explain the process towards the digital nature in the wabi-sabi. So Dolphin to serve and uh, communicate each other in the sea. And uh, because of the uh, water medium, they can transform, uh, they can transmit the information to the each other. So like uh, they can, they can see the world as a visible information by the 30 meters, and also that they can hear and also that they can see using the uh, sound information uh, as a 150 meters. And also that they can transmit the information between the each species, each, uh, uh, each individuals. It can be 2.5 kilometers. So it is almost like a, uh, they have a uh, smartphones or they have a telecommunication device uh, they are brain, near the brain, brain. So in the anatomy, the dolphin has a, like a, called the melon, which is a, a kind of the protein and a kind of the, like a, a unit of the cells which can transmit the uh, audible uh, sound waves towards a, like a target. So however, we don't have. However, in the current ages, we have a smartphones, also we have a brains, and also in, in the, like, uh, 50, uh, five billions ago, uh, we uh, uh, combined with the mitochondria towards the Japan, uh, towards cells. Now we have uh, smartphones. Actually, I think that we will be, uh, be a new species to uh, came up with, uh, like, uh, this kind of electrical communication. In, inside our body, all kind of things. However, the dolphin already have, like, it has an audible communication as a, like, a special unit between, uh, in, uh, close to the brain. So, as a researcher, I'm looking for how to mediate this kind of the wave field, like ultrasonic waves, or this kind of the uh, acoustic waves or optical waves. How can we make the holograms using the, this kind of uh, uh, wave transformation. So it is, a, it is a actually almost the same process of the dolphin do in the sea, because of the dolphin can form the beam of the ultrasonic, and also I form the uh, ultrasonic using the, this kind of electrical uh, materials. So uh, this was uh, my current research is working for the, uh, for to gather the audible waves at the uh, single point, it can uh, generate uh, like a spot audio for the humans. So it can transform it the uh, audible information to uh, here is uh, like a Japanese, or here is Chinese, or here, this audio point says, uh, or this, here is the uh, left side, or this is right side, or this kind of the individual communication can do with uh, this kind of uh, holographic wave transformation. So uh, after the, like, uh, 
uh, computational ages of the 20th centuries, we can uh, easily to handle the, this kind of a computational wave front. Because of the like, uh, iteration step, like uh, to 20 millions ago, the dolphin came up with how can they can transform the information using the biological bodies. However, the, now we can change this kind of wave front using the electrical process, like a computational wave front, or we can use a more holographic process which kind of transform the information or alter the physical world itself using the wave field and by the, uh, uh, not the uh, optimization process using the computational process towards uh, like a generator wave field or holographic field. So, it, and also this was the uh, uh, second way. The first one is using this kind of electrical step using the computational wave front because of the active materials such like uh, speakers or array of the speakers. However, this is the second step which is using the metamaterials. Metamaterials means uh, like a materials which is, uh, it doesn't exist in the nature. However, the we fabricate with uh, 3D printers or we can transform the wave front. It is the acoustic lens, so it uh, works as the same of the computational wave front things. Because of the, we transmit the sound energy towards them, it can gather towards the first one point. So it shows uh, uh, the tiny particles floating in the air. So my current interest of the research and the art uh, is uh, this kind of end-to-end -end transformation between these things. So computational wave front or metamaterial things or animals or biological species which can, uh, which can represent the, how they can alter the wave field towards a physical representation. So actually we have now the machine learning process or uh, the uh, plenty uh, computational resources. So we can, uh, we can connect each other by the optimization of the computational wave from towards the animal process or uh, animal process towards the metamaterials. Uh, this kind of the question is, uh, exists in my uh, research and also art process. So uh, this was uh, my uh, PhD work, which is working for the like, uh, actu uh, ambient actuation by the computational wave front using the acoustic field or ultrasonic field. So naturally, if the, uh, uh, around the things we can, uh, the, environment itself manipulates the uh, human environment. And also, this kind of the, how can we disconnect from the, uh, the devices, like a pixels, or from to other like a pixels? Because of the, we, now we have a lot of gadget or a lot of IoT device itself. However, the, it exists the data inside of the, like these things. However, the, if you disconnect from the, this device towards here or towards the, there, uh, it is the same thing as uh, dolphins in the water because of we, if we transform the in this environment towards uh, like a, this kind of the virtual environment exists like, like a physically, it is almost the same between the dolphins' communication. And also, it can expand our communication style towards the next century. So, uh, if it uh, achieved like a uh, we, can, we can handle the object without uh, touching things, or we can transform the information towards me, towards you, and also uh, it can be useful to analyze the, this kind of uh, holographic things to recognize using the machine learning. Also, uh, uh, making the visual representation using the holographic field. So uh, now, actually, we are cro uh, in the age cross talk between the virtual and also AI, also the human and the physical things using the, like a holographic field or a light field, and also it becomes a more like a, physically or virtually both e existed in this world. And this was this is a movie captured in my laboratory. Uh, so it, there is a, like a golden fish inside the water. It is analog golden fish, and also the fish, virtual golden fish. Exists exist uh, on the desks. And uh, on both sides is uh, almost a virtual process and also animal process. And uh, also it becomes together uh, because of the, we have uh, like a kind of the glasses, uh, we, we can see both of things. And also this kind of uh, the world, that is, uh, I think the dolphins see the world because of the, they cannot, uh, they can distinguish the physical things, also the information. However, the, they can transform, it, transform the 3D information f from individual to other, other individuals. It can be, uh, become more complete, uh, our, um, our Im imaginary world to other physical world. So 
Finally, I'd like to introduce my uh, artwork. Uh, this was uh, called Morpho Scenery, which is exhibited in the Roppongi Hills Mori Tower. And uh, also, it is uh, like a Fresnel lens can uh, uh, hangs in the air. So it uh, uh, represents the water ripples, like uh, this kind of installation. So after this work, I wanted to design, or uh, no, I wanted to uh, I want to make the new work, new work, which is uh, like uh, how can we represent the scenery from the biological or nature steps. So I found the uh, that is a mackerel, uh, which is uh, uh, fishes in the uh, in the sea. So I think that it is almost same step because of the this scenery. Uh, here is a ground side, here is a sky side, and also in the this is a. Uh, uh, side view of the fish, and also the top side is uh, water, also downside is looks like sun. Because of the, like uh, in the water or in the natural selection process, there is an uh, enemy of the, these fishes, because uh, there is shark or dolphins, they captured from here. So they want to avoid from the, this kind of enemy. So because of the, uh, the bottom side looks like a sunlight, because of the, it looks like a silver, and the top side, it wanted to mimic the water wave front, so because of the X and, uh, like a sea wave front looks like. So uh, actually, it is a kind of the process to mimic the physical scenery uh, by the biological process. So actually, I'm really looking for this kind of the, how the natural selection process makes a natural scenery, and also the, how the digital process is natural. So bet, uh, between the, this kind of the border uh, will be dis dis uh, disappeared in this century because of the plenty of the ma computational resources can mimic the visual process of the natural selection. Also, the natural selection uh, looks like the inherit from the digital process. Actually, these kind of two things will uh, mediate it in the digital nature process. And also, it is through the iteration step because of the ancient Japanese looking for the wabi-sabi. Because of sabi is natural selection, natural uh, process for the after the iteration. And also the wabi is uh, uh, unstableness between the, these kind of nature itself. So uh, thank you for the listening. And also, uh, actually, I'm really glad to having uh, to, glad to be having for uh, having here. Thank you so much.